Earlier, we were discussing uh, the type of uh, psychiatric disorder that this gentleman may have, and it was uh, identified as a disorder called uh, schizoaffective disorder. Schizoaffective disorder is a mental illness. It is a brain disorder uh, that causes individuals to have problems with thinking. It's often referred to as a thought disorder. Some of the symptoms that these individuals will have would be things like uh, hallucinations, delusions, uh, oftentimes they can be paranoid. Their thought processes uh, sometimes become very disorganized. Now those are symptoms of schizophrenia uh, as well, but someone who has schizoaffective disorder also has a mood component to their disorder. Now what I mean by that is they have fluctuations in their mood often seen, often uh, very similar to uh, the fluctuations we see in bipolar disorder. Uh, so they will have what we refer to as manic episodes where sometimes they will feel uh, very irritable, sometimes excited, have grandiose thoughts, uh, and then they can also get very depressed where they feel depressed and at times even suicidal. Because oftentimes they have very little insight, awareness of, of the disorder that they're having. What they're experiencing, if they're feeling uh, uh, paranoid or having delusions or hallucinations, they feel those are very real. So yeah, that is part of the problem is that oftentimes uh, when this is untreated, they don't have that awareness of the severity of their illness. Yes. We, we, we can't cure schizophrenia or schizoaffective disorder, but we certainly can treat it and keep the symptoms in remission. And these people do have to stay on their medications. That oftentimes is a problem, is that they start feeling good and stabilized and they feel like they can go off their medications. And then oftentimes they will have a recurrence of the symptoms. Where we shouldn't be afraid of the diagnosis, I think, a lot of people are very apprehensive and fearful uh, when someone has a psychiatric diagnosis, uh, but it is an illness and it's an illness that can be treated. Uh, it is on a continuum. I mean, there are certainly some people who have great difficulty in functioning in social uh, situations and in dealing with kind of the daily activities of life, but the majority of them are able to function fairly well in the community.